Hello everyone, welcome back to one of my favourite games ever, Fights in Tight Spaces. This was originally on the channel like two years ago when we first started making content here on YouTube. Uh, it was one of my first daily series, it's a great game, it's a deck building, um, like fighting roguelike, it's incredible. And they've just released its first DLC, Weapon of Choice, where you get weapons, you get guns, where before um, it was all fist fighting and kicking and stuff. So. Um, very excited to play today. We're going to play the weapon of choice story and we're going to play classic difficulty, I think. Um, yeah, let's just play classic. Seems fair. Okay, new agent. Let's go. Uh, I feel like we've got to play as a new agent. Let's play as the woman. Oh, this is different. This guy usually gives us a mission at the start of these runs. Um, I like what you've done with the place. Thanks. I'm grievously wounded. <laughs> what happened? They were strong, fast, dangerous. Take my gun. You may need it. Sir, you know I don't use guns. Um, you're cool, Agent 11. So we get to play with the new deck. Gunslinger. A focus on firearms when fists and feet aren't quite enough. Let's do it. Let's go. We don't want to do any training, do we? We just want to jump straight into the first level. Death's Head Biker Gang. They can get to me. They can get anywhere. Stay off the grid. Hit up the usual suspects. See what you can find out. Hitting is something I can do. Okay, let's go. We're starting in the tattoo shop today. I'm excited for this. God, I miss this game. It's so good. So you'll soon get an, an idea of what it's about. Um, I've got to remember a few of the different enemies and a few of the different symbols and stuff. Eyes on the target. You must be one of our uninvited guests. It was unfortunate we missed you during the assault. We won't miss you again. That feels a lot like something someone who was about to miss would say. Okay, I need to look at this. So this tile, I'm pretty sure, means enemy will spawn here next turn. So I could block that by standing on it. I don't want to. This guy is going to hit me for 10. See the red fist above his head? He's going to hit me for 10. And he's also got um, 32 HP. This guy's going to hit me for 10. He's got 20 HP. Okay, immediately, I can see what I want to do here. I want to kill these guys as quick as I can. If I shove this guy to the right, he will then attack his friend so that's good so he's gonna hit him for 10 so all i've got to do now is hit this guy for 10 which i think i could probably do so if we quick strike him and then draw equip your gun and switch to pistol stance okay yeah let's do it i guess it does remove all our combo okay and we draw a thing we can attack with so we are going to use stagger shot which is going to hit him for six and push him back one into the wall if you push an enemy into an object or a wall or another enemy, they also take four damage on top of that. So he's only got two HP now. So I'm going to holster my gun. Might be able to kill him without this guy killing him. I can just by pushing him into the wall. Let's do that then. I'm fine with that. We take no damage this turn. There are two new enemies spawning though, which I was not ready for. Um, either side of me. Okay, they're weak ones though. Big one is a bit scary. We need to defeat all four enemies to unlock a new card and complete the fight within five more turns. Um, okay, this is interesting. So we can quick draw here for eight damage. I haven't got a shove, so it's not as easy as you know, doing what I did last time. Uh, I'm going to quick draw for eight damage on you. I want to kill the big guy now. Okay, and then I can't draw because I've already got my pistol out. I can quick shot him for eight damage here. Takes him down to 12. I could then combo finish him for, hang on, eight. And then we've got four combos. So that's going to deal 16 damage. So I'm kind of tempted to use that on somebody else, to be honest, just to get damage, you know. Yeah, let's, do, let's use it on someone else. We don't need to kill the big guy because I'm going to avoid him now by shifting behind him like this. So we don't take any damage, but these guys are all weak now. I can't draw again because I'm already in pistol stance. I have to holster it before I can draw again. Or I think start of a turn, you holster it, look. Okay, we're in a weird spot here. I can slip straight out, which is nice. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw. Uh, okay, I'm then going to stagger shot you into the wall. That'll kill you anyway. I'm going to gut shot this guy. 14 that kills him. And then I could slip here and quick shot this guy. But he's going to hit me for six. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to end my turn. There's only this guy left. We've got to kill him within three turns to get a bonus. Happy days. 
Let's start with a bit of a quick strike then. Eight damage. Let's draw our pistol. We're hoping for something that can deal 12 damage to him. Stagger shot. Ooh, okay. Only deal six. He can't hit us now. I can't reach him, so I'm going to holster my weapon and see if we get any good cards. I can quick draw. There we go. Nice. It's all about holstering and drawing to draw your weapon and draw new cards. Okay. Defeated the enemies, we get a new card, and we completed the fight within six turns total, so we get 30 uh, pounds. Let's go. We want long shot. Range attack that deals 10 damage plus four damage for each tile between you and the target. That sounds good. I'll take long shot. And then we also get another one. Right spin kick deals six damage, push target to the right, and it costs two combo. Let's do it. Let's take it. Okay, uh, I'm going to want to go to the gym after this. That's where we can upgrade our cards. I'm going to try not to take any damage, so medical won't be needed. So we're going to go tattoo shop into the gym. Let's go. Okay, two enemies already. One more spawn in. One's got a golf club. Well, it's not a golf club. It's like an iron bar. But Okay, straight away, I can shove you. Oh, straight away. Yeah, you're going to get moved to there. So you're going to hit him. We're only going get, to get hit by this guy that will hit me for eight if he does hit me. I do have counter shot, which will give me eight blocks. So I'm actually quite comfortable to just stand here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to quick look, quick draw this guy for 10 damage. Our weapon is now out. So guess what? I can gut shot him as well. A 14. He's only got one HP. But if I counter shot him, this adds eight block. And when I get attacked, I'll shoot him. So we take no damage because we blocked it all. And we shoot him on his turn. Incredible. Okay. He didn't get a chance to attack him, which is a shame. The only person that is in range of attacking me is this guy. So I think we just do as much damage as we can to him right now. So let's quick strike him for eight. And then I think we draw. I've got no movement. I've got shift actually. But shift. Yeah. Okay. I have got movement. We're fine. Uh, I'm going to quick shot this guy for eight. And then I could. I could just long shot him. I know it's a waste, but it would kill him. I can't long shot because he's too close. That's to be between two and ten tiles. Okay. Roll throw, I can't do. So I'm going to have to shift out the way, I think. So I'm going to shift to here and then long shot this guy. We'll take that. That's a good play by me, I think. Huge. Long shot makes a big difference. I like that. Okay, you're weak. We know you're weak. He can attack us because he's at two attack range. Um, I can push you into him to do a little bit of damage. So I suppose I might go ahead and do that straight away. Okay, I've then got a right spin kick that'll deal six damage and push the target to the right. Which, you know what? If I was to actually slip here. Now I can't do it, of course. God damn it. Oh, I can only cost two. I'll right spin kick you into your friend. That kills you, damages your friend a little bit. And then I can't really do anything, so I'm going to end turn. I could have drawn, but I didn't have any movements to get in the line of someone to shoot them. We've got combo finisher that will deal quite a bit, but I think we actually. Uh, Quick shot this guy first. He's only got 9 HP, so I could kill him with one of these. Okay, and that way I can now save my combo for next turn. I've got to kill him within this next two turns. So what can I do here? I could draw. He's only got 2 HP, so I'm going to just move to here. I'm going to draw, and then we can do whatever we want. And I think I'm going to gut shot him. Let's go. Huge play. Come on. Defeat the enemy's new card. Complete the fight within six turns. Plus 30. Dual shot. Fire two shots in opposite directions. Each dealing 10 damage. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, we're going to go to the gym. We're going to upgrade a card, I think. Dual shot upgrade. Still costs one. 14 in each direction, but I do need them to be stood either side of me, I suppose. What other one do I like? Where's the block? The counter one. This could be crucial. I think this one's going to be the most important. Add 12 block instead of 8. And it deals 6 more damage. We need the block because we get hit a lot. Okay. And then I think I might save the 50. I don't want to buy any of these. Okay. Yeah. Let's stay with the 50, 50 pounds then. Here to the motorbike bay for our next fight. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. New type of enemy here with uh, are those... Two sword off shotguns. It is. Okay. What can I do straight away? I can long shot someone. If I was to draw, of course. I can quick draw. I might try and kill. This guy's got auto attack on this tiles. If I do anything to him up close, he will kill me. No one else has auto attack. 
I might try and focus the auto attack person because they scare the life out of me the most. Now can I hang on? I can't get out of here. So I've put quick block on for some reason. If I push you. Can I do any can I vault to here? I can. And then hear me out. I can push you out the map, right? Let's go. I do still get attacked because you attack in a free you pain. Okay. So I'm gonna take 10 damage here, which sucks, but in fact, I've added some block, haven't I? That's a long shot's huge, you know. I've added some block. Okay, I'm gonna take four damage here, which isn't the end of the world, but it's not great. I don't really want to take any damage if I can help it. Okay, I like that we could push one out straight away. That's good. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Straight away, I think we quick strike you. You don't have auto attack. It's your friend behind that has auto attack, so surely... No, I thought that would have... No, okay. I wanted to push this guy. Um, I think I need to slip out. You know what I can do? I can, hang on, I can draw and play stagger shot. It will kill the guy behind her. Let's do that. That's huge for us. Okay. Now, I've got one thing left. So I think I'm going to quick shot her for eight. Takes down to 24. And all I can really do here is slip to the side. I'm going to play holster to see if I get any zero cost melee cards. I don't. Okay. Okay, okay. I can counter shot here, which would give me 12 blocks. She obviously hits for 10. So that would work, wouldn't it? I quite like that. I think I might take that. Um, I can't really do anything else. I can dual shot, which would just deal 10 to her. Okay, and then my counter should kill her now. Let's go. Huge. One person left. Defeat the enemies. And Oh, no, there's two people left, actually. One more's got to spawn, then. Complete the fight within five turns. Okay. Um, You've got 25. I suppose I could slip to here. I could right spin kick us the wrong way. So we're going to quick draw first for 14. I'm then just going to... Um, may as well dual shot you. And then I may as well right spin kick you out of the way. So there's one more enemy that's meant to spawn, but didn't spawn quickly enough because we killed everybody else. So we get our plus 60 pounds and a new upgraded card. Okay. Retreating shot plus. Shoot for 14 damage and move one tile away. I like that. Nerve strike plus. Deal 8 damage and apply minus 2 damage modifier to the target. Okay, that would reduce their damage for one turn. Or is that the whole run? The whole uh, fight? Disarm. Steal a pistol from an enemy and deal 35 damage. It's zero cost. Steal a pistol and deal 35 damage. Must kill the target. I think we take that as like a finishing move. We're going to go event here. You hear of a backstreet doctor offering surgically enhanced combat training. It could be a shortcut to some enhanced moves. Try out the Doctor, lose 5 health, gain a free card, upgrade, leave, it sounds risky. I'm going to try out the Doctor. You lose a lot of blood, but you feel strong, so I lose 5 health and I get a card to upgrade. Okay, for free, by the way. So, I'm thinking... Where's... Oh, no, the one that we just added was already plus. Long shot would deal 15 plus 4, so I was hoping it was going to increase the modifier. Uh, stagger shot would deal 12, okay... We've got the counter upgrade that already, haven't we? What about gut shot? A close range shot that deals 24 damage. I think we take that. Then we go to the gym and we upgrade another one. Won't be another gun one though. Dual shot. Deals 14 each way. I think we do that. And I've got 50 left. So I'm going to save that again. I think long shot's got to be the next one we upgrade, right? Although we could do some more block maybe. Okay. Let's go into the Duke box bar. For our next fight. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Okay. Very nice. Big man. Look at him. Target identified. That's me, right? I'm the target. Preparing to engage. Targetive hired killer, aren't you? Okay, I don't like this guy already. Um, I could disarm this guy like immediately. So let's do that. It'll kill him. Huge, absolutely huge. I could then quick shot you for four, and then I can long shot you, and I can't do anything else. But that's good damage for for hey for round one. That's good damage. Okay. 
I've got dual shot, but no one's going to be either side of me. I can roll throw this guy. Oh, no, I can't. He cannot be downed. Okay, I can shift. I think this is the play right now. I think we shift. I think we quick draw on this guy. I could have quick draw this guy, I suppose, but... Okay, and I really can't do it. All I can do here is dual shot, so I'm going to do it 14 on him. Get him almost killed, and then I could... Let's try holster, see if I get a zero card. Do get right spin kick. I'll kill him. And then I can draw, and I might get a quick shot. No, okay. Not, not bad first two turns, to be honest. I want to get close towards the door, so I can maybe kick some people out. I've got quick block and counter shot here. So, let's have a look at this. You're going to deal 10. You're going to deal 12. That's 24. That gives me 12. That gives me 6. That's not enough. Okay. I can get out of the way of this guy. No, I can. So let's do. I've got it. Let's vault to here. There's something to vault over, but you get it. Okay, we could put thing on, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to quick strike him. Get rid of it as much block as I can. I'm going to draw. Can you see what I'm going to do here? I'm going to quick shot him for eight. Now, I could counter his attack here. I've got enough block on my counter shot to counter it and deal 18 damage to him. But I'm going to do it. I was going to move him out of the way to here. But I was going to move him to the side to shoot this guy. But I think I'd rather deal 18 than him deal 10. Yeah, that's way better, I think. Get this guy killed. Okay, we can push him out here. We can push him out. We can push him out. That's huge. So I'm going to vault to here. This guy now can't attack me. I'm going to push this guy out of the map, which is amazing. Goodbye. Okay, and I've got nothing. I suppose I could draw, maybe get a shot or two on this guy. I can. Good shot's a little bit too close, but... Oh my god, we can stagger shot him backwards one place. Which I think means he might attack this guy, but I can also now long shot him. Which will deal 10 plus... Will deal 18 damage. That's huge. And then I could holster just to see what we get. Disarm. No one's got a pistol. Okay, let's end turn. He does hit that guy for 8 damage. That's massive. The 12 damage, but 8 HP. Okay, nice. I've got dual shot, which I can't use because I haven't got my gun out. I have got draw, though. I can quick strike. I mean, I don't really know what I want to do here. I mean, may as well quick strike him because why not? I've got combo finisher. I could. I think I may as well play it now because I'm not going to be able to play it after I use draw. That's killed him. Now, he can't hit me past this line, so I'm thinking we slip. We shift to here. We draw. We do something good. We play quick shot, and then we also play dual shot. And now this guy's only got 4 HP. How are we going to complete the achievement? We are. Okay, right spin kick will deal 6. He's got 8. He needs 8 damage total. So instead, I'm going to... Vault backwards and long shot the fella. Big, big play. Come on. We love that, people. We love that. Let's go next page. Defeat the enemies. We get a new upgraded card and we complete the fight within eight turns for 60 pounds. Whoa, okay. Quick draw plus. Plus three extra damage for each point of combo. That's pretty good. Choke slam costs four combo. We don't really get a lot of combo with this build because the draw cards that I'm using so much just remove all combo when you use them. Throw and deal 18 damage. That is good though. What about this? Heavy strike plus. Deal 14 damage to target up to two tiles away. Do I want to do that? Let's take it. Why not? And then, oh, grapple. You can move target to an adjacent tile. Or option play. Move two tiles or deal two damage. I feel like I do need more movement. I'm going to take option play. So that's a bit of a risk there. Okay, I want to go to the gym, so I'm going to go event, washroom, gym. There is a bomb. Which wire do you cut? I don't need £100. But it is 66%. We're going to go red wire. Lose 10 HP. Okay, now I want to go to medical and I can't. That's That sucks. God damn it. Why didn't I just say no? It was the 66% thing baited me in. Okay. Oh no. Looks like an exit way here. 
Oh, you work in pairs too? We do what's necessary to get the job done. If you tell that to your friends, I think you can find them littered around the place. We are wasting time. There's a door here we can kick people out of. Okay. I want a better... I think this is a better angle for me. I don't want to see those in the way. Okay, so straight away, what can I do here? I can quick draw. Who do we focus? I guess the guy without the block, right? Have you got auto attack? No. So we quick draw onto you. Eight damage. I can shove you into that. For zero cost. You might as well do that. I can then holster for zero. I can then draw for zero. Which gives me gut shot, which will deal 24 damage, which will completely kill this guy. Okay, and then I can still... Oh, no, I couldn't slip out. Now we slip out. I was going to say I could long shot him, but I'd get a shot. I can't afford to get a shot at the minute because I'm already low on HP. I think we're half HP right now, aren't we? Yeah, 21 out of 40. That's not good. Here, I can heavy strike someone. Okay, I need to think of what I'm going to do here. Because we've got no movement here apart from shift. And I'm not really in a good point. This guy's got auto attack. This guy's got auto attack. So if I do anything for these guys, they're going to attack back straight away. If I move into these two tiles, they're going to hit me straight away. So I think I'm going to draw straight away. I'm going to save one momentum here for shift. I'm going to quick shot this big guy. Okay. And I think... If I was to move to there, I can't shift past him. I can only move to like there. So I can't really heavy strike him here. So I'll heavy strike him, I'll end up here. And then all I can do is shift backwards and I'll get killed. How much? That's going to deal 14, right? And then that would deal... Oh, you know what? Actually, let's heavy strike him. So I, can, I think I'll be able to right spin kick him out of the way. But not before I dual shot him as well. So this will actually kill him. Let's go. That's large. And then we shouldn't get hit now by anybody. We don't. Okay. I'm going to shift back to here though. I want to get close to this door so we can kick some people out. Maybe in the future. Okay. Counter shot's looking good here. Now we've got to remember that these guys have got auto attack on. They'll push me as well. So I need to be really careful what I do here. So I'm going to play counter shot. So yeah, if I do anything, this guy's going to attack. But it is only this guy. And then if I move to there, this guy will attack me as well. So I really can't do anything here. Sick. The best I could do is vault out the way. So I'm going to do that. Nice. I'm going to stagger shot you into the wall. And then I'm going to... That's all I can do. So it's not the position that I wanted to end up in, but it's definitely saved me. And I suppose I did waste my counter thing. No one's got a pistol, so I can't disarm anybody. All I can do is... Oh, no, this is bad. I need to draw. Oh, this is really bad. This guy's going to hit me, so I need block. You know what? I think actually what we do here is... We move forward one tile. So we get out of the way of this guy. This guy's going to hit for eight, right? But he's about to die. So I'm going to push him into him. Okay. He's on eight. I can't long shot him because he's so close. But I can then move out of the way, which is, oh, this is a bad play, but we're not going to reach eight combos. That's that one gone, you know? Oh, no. I can counter shot here. You give me 12 block, which would be enough. You know what? I am going to counter shot. Dual shot. Ready? I'm going to get... I can't dual shot. I've got to click. I'm going to get hit here, so we just need to prepare for it. Yep. Yeah. Then we should count him as well. Let's go. Okay, we did take a bit of damage. Now, this is me. He's on 2 HP. They can both attack me here, so I need to decide what I'm going to do. I think we right spin kick you out of the way. And then I am going to play holster. And I'm then going to play draw. And I'm hoping for a thing that pushes him back. Stagger shot. Let's go. Big. And there's still an enemy spawning. But I could have shifted there, but I don't have the money now. Okay. So the enemy's going to have to spawn. If I could have blocked, that would have been good. Okay, we start with some big moves here, though, to be honest. We vault to here. Okay. We play heavy strike for 14 damage. And all I need to do now is draw and gut shot. Massive. Massive play. So once again, we don't get eight combo, but we do get the other achievements. 
So we lose out the money, but we get plus two max health and a new card. No thanks. We can oh, we choose another one. AP rounds. All of your gun attacks ignore block while this card is in hand, but it cannot be played. Is that good? Our hand's only small, isn't it? Let's think. I don't think that's good. I think I'd rather deal with the block. Add an attack card to your hand. This card costs zero minutes in this turn. No. I can't go to medical. Okay, gym it is. We're going to upgrade. Oh, I did say long shot, didn't I? Let's upgrade long shot. I oh, maybe should have done quick block, actually. It would have gave me an extra. Yeah, god damn it. Okay, quick block's definitely next. Jump kick. Okay, I think we're just going to have to just go for this. This is the boss for the first... The first phase. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, this is worrying. I need to not misplay here with 17 HP. Okay, no one's got auto attack, which is the big thing. So, I'm thinking straight away, honestly. I want to stagger shot this guy into him for early damage, okay? We've got a way out with Vault, but it is one cost. So, I'm going to heavy strike you immediately for 14. I'm going to quick strike you for 8. I'm going to draw... These guys deal 24 damage. Okay, I've got quick shot, which will actually just kill you. I'm going to play that to just get you out of the way. And now I really want to play something else right now. He's going to hit for 16. Okay, I've got to get out of the way. There's nothing else I can do. Okay. Are they going to shoot each other? Oh, let's go. Well, he, yeah, he can't shoot him. He doesn't have a gun. Um, this arm would kill this guy. So I want to get to here. So how do we do this in a well-formed way? We play option play to here. We play disarm on this guy. Kill him. I'm then going to long shot the heck out of that big guy. That's well, only two tiles, but it's still decent damage. 23. Nice. Then we just end turn there. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Um, I would need to get... Oh, hang on. I need to think about this. If I slip forward... Let's start with a draw. We do lose our combo, so I can't right spin kick him now. Okay, I've got gut shot, which would be 24. Oh my god. 24 is 38. Okay. So we slip forward. We gut shot for 24. And now he's only on 13. So we're just gonna dual shot him. Let's go. I wonder where the second bullet goes. Let's go through the wall and hit a civilian. Just kidding. Let's go. Untouchable. Win a boss fight without taking any damage. Nice achievement to unlock there. That's big. Watch a full replay of your fight by pressing the show replay button. No. Defeat the boss. New enhancement. And complete the fight within eight turns plus 20 health. That's big. So we've, we've healed up and we get to choose one of these. So choose one extra card reward at the end of each fight. That's a no for me because my deck will get too busy. Resilience automatically adds three block per turn. That could be quite good. Or we can increase card draw by one. This would have been good to have with that card that makes your bullets miss armor. It's between resilience and tactician for me. Is free block really that big of a thing? I feel like everyone we're going to come up against is going to hit us for 12. Is free that, I think, increased card draw, right? It's, it's huge. Just wish we had momentum uh, increase as well. You're con you continue to impress Agent 11. Did you gain any leads? Nothing concrete, but I'll keep turning the screw. That's what I like to hear. Right, people. I'm going to end it there. I'm going to do this in parts, I think. So that's the uh, Death's Head Biker Gang complete in this video. And the next video, we will be uh, taking on the Insiders. Let me know what you think about the game. Obviously, the game is it's a few years old now. It's been on the channel before quite a lot. Um, but I have to play the new DLC. It's one of my favorite games. I know it isn't loved by a lot of other people. Um, I don't mean it's a bad game. I just mean like it doesn't perform well on the channel when I say that. But that's okay. I'm over that part of my uh, YouTube career. I'm posting what I like. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode. Goodbye.